I have no time to play. Actually, you know what? That is kind of relatable. That is relatable. Like when I finish, yeah. one more hits time, yeah. Do you never consider like waking up early to play? I literally get my piano practice done. Music Ambassadors Club meets every other Friday during lunch in N212. Founded and led by Henry Osenfall, with Vice President Al Fan, the club aims to bring classical music into I more people's lives. I wanted to, um, you know, start a club that would be centered around one of my biggest passions, which is, you know, playing the violin and classical music. And I thought um, it would be a great way to, you know, give back to the community while also, like, um, showing my passion for music by, you know, performing music for the community and uplifting people's spirits. The club plans to perform hour-long concerts at senior homes, hospitals, and elementary schools as a way of giving back to their community throughout the school year. I think um, I'll be able to like secure something in early November. We can perform like ESH. I think in, like the morning, um, probably before school, um, and we'll have like a practice meeting in a few weeks to kind of get ready for performing. If you want to, like, the members are preparing for a concert in late October or November, where they will perform at Montgomery Place to raise money for food depositories. Well, I've been a pianist for like 10 years now and I really like playing piano and music in general. So uh, when I saw that there was a club about music, I definitely had to join. This is Andrew Gee. He wanted to join Music Ambassadors Club because he already plays piano. The first meeting was just um, Henry introducing the club and then he was talking about how there could be some performances later on. I was like, oh, that's cool. They also plan to have guest speakers come to their club meetings. And I also um, I want to invite a lot of guest speakers this year um, who are going to talk about like um, different aspects of music. So I'm interested in inviting a composer. We're going to talk about like her composition process and also an or orchestral musician who will talk about like his life playing in a, an orchestra. So I think it's also a way for people to learn about classical music and to really hone their skills. During their meetings, they host discussions about different aspects of music. On October 20th, they discuss the benefits and dangers of AI-generated music. I think in a lot of popular music, there's a lot of, like, the backtracks are, like, a repetitive, like, theme of notes yeah. that's, like, usually digitally made through, like, a computer or something. But, like, then people layer their singing over that. And I think, like, I could see, I definitely see AI existing yeah. in that sense. And it's like, I can't really see AI like having the same impact that like a composer who put their like the, a lot of their time and their effort and like their soul and emotion into a piece the same way I, AI would because well it's not soul or emotion. Maurice Newman, one of the Music Ambassador Club members, explained that he was drawn to the club because of the performances. Well, I always like to join new things, especially when it's something that I'm interested in and something that you know, I spend a lot of time at, and his goal was to, to, you know, spread music to places where we, <laughs> like, to organize performances at various places, and that sounds like something I'd be interested in doing, because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it's spreading music to other people, and that's always something that is nice to do, so. Reporting for the Midway, I'm Haley Meharry.